and emotionally intelligent chief human resources officers know that to achieve their set goals within the organization, aside from the CEO, which obviously sits at the top of the leadership structure, it is equally important to have a healthy work relationship with the CFO and the COO respectively. This is because while you as the chief human resource officer, you are principally responsible for managing the relationship between the organization and its employees, the CFO and the CEO are specifically responsible for managing the finances and operations of the organization respectively. This is 90 Seconds with Dr. Abiola Salami, the world-class performance strategist. There are actions make an inevitable incursion into the jurisdiction of the CHRO. Hence, this trinity must ensure that they are always on the same page on important issues that affect the employees. For example, the chief human resource officer can recommend a promotion for an employee but the CFO may disagree on the financial compensation that comes with such a move. Also, the production model used by the COO can stifle productivity and make a competent employee look incompetent. So, you as the Chief Human Resource Officer, the CFO and the COO, that trinity must always be in sync. To accelerate a culture of peak performance in your organization, contact us on hello at abiolachamp.com and on social media at abiolachamp.